Hello guys, today we're going to be looking at factorizing trigonometrical expression. But before we start, let us talk about what factorizing is. All right? Factorizing is writing an expression or a term as a product of factors. So for instance, if I have 6, 6 can be written as 2 times 3. All right? So I'd have factorized 6. Now, in order to derive the factor formulas for in trigonometry, we're going to have to start with the component of formulas, which we would have done in previous videos. Alright, so let's start by recalling the compound angle formula for sine. Alright, so let's let us go. So the sine of a plus b would be equal to sine of a cosine of b plus the sine of b cosine of a. Also, the sine of a minus b is equal to the sine of a cosine of b minus the sine of b cosine of a so we have two expressions here now what if i take the sum of these two expressions so let us say that we decide to add them when we add the left hand side here i'm going to get the sine of a plus b plus the sine of a minus b and all this will be equal to we have sine a cos b plus sine a cos b so that gives me 2 sine a cos b all right now you see that this would cancel that all right now what can i do with this expression all right now if you look carefully at this expression you notice that some factorization would have taken place because on the left hand side, I have the sine of a plus b plus the sine of a minus b. Then I end up with 2 sine a plus b. And that is exactly what factorization is. Expressing an expression as a product of factors. Now to make this expression easy to use, I'm going to have to refine it. Because if I'm given something such as sine of 3 theta, it's going to be complicated to separate it in terms of a and b. All right? So we want to get rid of that a and b and that a minus b on the left hand side. So let us see what we can do here. What if we say let a plus b equal x and a minus b equal y. Good. Here we could solve for a and we could solve for b. So I'm going to have a plus b equal x, a minus b equal y. Alright. Just like a simultaneous equation, we could probably go with the elimination method. Let us say we decide to add these two equations. When I add a plus a, I'm going to end up with a 2a. Now the b will be gone because b plus negative b is 0. So 2a equal to x plus y, which would imply that a equal x plus y over 2. Now let us take the very same two expressions and subtract them. So we have a plus b equal x, a minus b equal y. Now, if I subtract these two expressions, the a's will be gone, and b minus negative b would give me a 2b equal x minus y. This would imply that b would be equal to x minus y all over 2. Now, we're going to take these and plug them back into the original expression. Bear in mind that a plus b is equal to x, and a minus b is equal to y. So, what happens when I plug them in? Alright, this is what is going to happen. I'm going to have the sine of x plus the sine of y equal two sine bear in mind now that a is equal to x plus y over two now i'm gonna have the cosine of b bear in mind that b is equal to x minus y over two so i'm gonna have the cosine of x minus y over two now this is my very first factor formula here all right, and you can go ahead and even try to derive the others. But well, let me give you a hint here. So instead of adding the expressions, we're considering subtracting them. And you, of course, can pause the video and go ahead and derive it and then come back and look at the answer. All right. So let us say we decide to subtract them. If I subtract them, I'm going to, on the left hand side here, I'm going to have the sine of A plus B minus the sine of A minus B. And this is going to be equal to, now the sine of a cos b minus the sine of a cos b, that is equal to 0. 
for the sine of b cos a minus negative sine b cos a, that is now going to give me 2 sine b cos a. All right. Now, recall what we had done earlier. We had say, let a, let a plus b equal x and a minus b equal y. So, ultimately, this would come down to the sine of x minus the sine of y. And if we had go back up, we had worked out that b was equal to x minus y over 2 and a was equal to x plus y over 2. So, this becomes 2 sine x minus y over 2 cosine x plus y over 2. All right. And we could probably rearrange that so that we have the x plus y over 2 first to make it easier to recall. So, I'm going to have the sine of x minus the sine of y equal to cosine x plus y over 2 sine of x minus y over 2. And this is my second factor formula applied to sine. All right, very important here. Now, let us apply the same factor formula to cosine. All right, we would have dealt with the component angle formulas already, so you know what they are. All right, and pretty much we're applying the same concept. So let us add these two formulas. So when I add this, I'm going to have on the left side here, the cosine of A plus B plus the cosine of A minus B equal. Now when I add the left hand side, cosine A cosine B plus cosine A cosine B is 2 cosine A cosine B. All right. Where sine A sine B is concerned, these are going to cancel out. So remember with that we had we had agreed that a plus b was equal to x and a minus b is equal to y. So ultimately, this would actually become the cosine of x plus the cosine of y equal. Bear in mind that a was x plus y over 2. So I'm going to have 2 cosine x plus y over 2 cosine x minus y over 2. And of course, this would be the factor formula for the cosine of x plus the cosine of y. All right, and let me highlight this in purple as well. Very critical. So we have gone three so far. Now, now we are back on cosine, but this time we're going to be subtracting the compound angle formulas. Now let us look at the left hand side. When I subtract those, I'm going to have the cosine of a plus b minus the cosine of a minus b. On the right hand side, you have the cosine of a cosine b minus the cosine of a cosine b. So that is definitely going to go. All right, what about the negative sine of a sine b minus the sine of a sine b? That now will give me a negative 2 sine a sine b. Earlier, we had let a plus b equal x and a minus b equal y. So this is what will happen. I will have the cosine of x minus the cosine of y equal negative 2 sine. We had found a to be x plus y upon 2 and we had found b to be x minus y upon 2. All right? And this is my fourth factor formula. All right? Please stay tuned to my next video for how we apply these factor formulas.